Do you guys know anything about the asbestos at all that's been happening? I mean, there's major allegations of asbestos occurring. Um, do you guys know anything about that? John Holland, Della, CPV contractors cutting construction materials and mixing it in with mulch. Do you guys know about those asbestos allegations? It's now affected like three Sydney Metro sites. Are you guys aware of those allegations, the asbestos? Do you guys have training on asbestos, how to identify it, especially non-frayable asbestos? Or do they tell you to cut it up and put it in the mulch, which is what's happened, it looks like, at numerous Sydney Metro sites. He's, see, he thinks it's funny. I, I love it. I love how taxpayer dollars are hard at work now remedying all this asbestos for sites John Holland, CPB, and Gela run. <laughs> and you guys think it's funny. I love it. You know how much tax dollars are going to be spent cleaning up all that asbestos that's been dumped by you guys? You have any idea? It's me a lot. And so, guys, just for reference purposes, um, asbestos has been found now mixing with mulch at three Sydney Metro sites. And John Holland, the lead contractor for this site, decided that even though it was found at one site, they weren't going to test all the other sites. Um, so the government, the EPA, actually went out and did test it and then found the asbestos at all the other sites they were putting mulch in. So essentially now taxpayers, uh, you know, of the state of New South Wales are now paying for an asbestos cleanup, um, which has been denied by John Holland, except we have evidence that they actually were well aware that they were mixing and uh, cutting asbestos and then dumping it um, into the mulch, at least based on the evidence that we've been provided. But um, sounds like these guys don't really care about that. Everyone's gonna turn around. We're gonna turn around. We're gonna do the 360 turn around here. Uh, so our whole goal, guys, is to bring accountability um, to what's been going on down here. Obviously, uh, this is not right. Taxpayers should not be cleaning up the mess of a major construction company that has enriched themselves on taxpayer dollars. And we argue that John Holland, CPB contractors, which uh, I believe these gentlemen work for, and Gela knew and willfully, because they were over budget and over time, disposed of asbestos in mulch, um, which is convenient. It saves a lot of money. Asbestos removal is a very complex, time-intensive, costly process. And if you cut up the asbestos and you just mix it in with mulch, man, it makes your life a lot easier. Who's gonna go te randomly testing mulch that children play with? So these guys know what I'm talking about. Um, we, uh, we had a conversation with the board of John Holland. Um, well, at least a, I emailed them. Um, and uh, we also had a conversation with Transport New South Wales, the secretary uh, and the minister, um, Ms. Jo Halen, who has been incredibly, um, incredibly receptive um, and reasonable uh, in dealing with this. So, um, you know, this is our friend's white civil out here. But um, yeah, it's just really sad, really sad to see what these guys are doing. They obviously have complete and utter disregard for the citizens of Sydney. I was woken up this morning at 4 a.m. Uh, because they decided they were gonna bring machinery in and swap it out. Um, didn't care, I came down here, they tried to run me over with a car. That video is being uploaded now. Again, laughing, he thinks it's funny to be you know, run over a citizen with a car, but um, that's what happened. Um, the video footage is being uploaded right now. So I just, I really, I really think that um, you know, the John Holland, uh, Gela, and then CPB really needs to reconsider how they interact with citizens. Um, you know, I've, I've reasonably tried to deal with these guys several times and, uh, you know, address my concerns. They don't seem to want to listen. Uh, they don't care. Um, this guy right here, he runs the entire, uh, the entire site. He's the ship boss, as you would call it, um, managing the site. And, um, 
doesn't care. Every time I'm down here, he calls the police, except his staff are the ones throwing me out of elevators and assaulting me. Um, I don't know if it's him or John Hone or Gallo, but it's one of the guys um, out there. Um, and it's just really sad. It's a really sad state that we live in that these guys feel the need to resort and retort to physical violence to, uh, to solve problems. I, um, you know, I don't like that. I don't like people that use physical violence. You want to yell at me and call me a dickhead or an asshole, feel free. You know, that, that's fine. But you want to throw me around and throw me on my ass and assault me because run me over the car because you're upset that I'm out here calling you out for all the problems that you're creating. That's wrong. That is wrong.